last video I told you guys that I would be covering the wall and I pretty much just discuss it and my opinion on it. I'm going to try and keep the video around five or six minutes long. I'll try to not run over. There's the artwork. Um, the first time that I heard Pink Floyd, I mean obviously I heard it when I was like really young, but the first time that I really noticed Pink Floyd was when I was seven and I heard Hey You when I was in the car with my dad and I just thought, wow, that's like an amazing sound. And ever since I've absolutely loved them, it's weird for a seven-year-old to be intrigued by Pink Floyd of all of all uh, bands, but I was. And Pink Floyd, they've just they've just made so much music history. They've just made history of music, especially classic rock, obviously. And this is an amazing album, so I just really want to touch on it. And plus, a lot of people of my generation do know who Pink Floyd is, and so it's probably a good start-out video. Uh, I got a couple of emails asking what I meant by my, a few just questions like what I meant by my generation. I am 18, so basically 15 to 22 year olds, I guess. <laughs> I don't know, I'm not really an expert on generations. Um, but anyhow, I'll go ahead and get started. Um, I did not go out and buy this record for this video. I have had this record in my family since the 80s. Um, I would touch base on every single song, but I'm just gonna read down through them because it would take me forever to discuss every single great song on this album. Um, I'm gonna start with side one. My vinyl's kind of ripped because it's really old. <laughs> uh, side one of the first one is In the Flesh, The Thin Eyes, Another Brick in the Wall, Part One, The Happiest Days of Our Lives, Another Brick in the Wall, Part Two, Mother. Side two, we have Goodbye Blue Sky, Empty Spaces, Money Lust. Um, Money Lust is also called Young Lust. It really just depends on where you're at. Here in East Tennessee, we uh, tend to call it Young Lust, at least on the radio stations they always have, as far as I've known. But on here, it says Money Lust. Um, Don't Leave Me Now, Another Brick in the Wall, Goodbye Cruel World. Uh, on side three, we have, hey you, is there anybody out there, nobody home, bring the boys back home comfortably numb. Uh, the show must go on in the flesh, in the flesh, sorry, run like hell, waiting on the worm, stop, um, the trial and outside the wall. Okay, so basically, if you don't know who Pink Floyd is, which pretty much everyone knows who they are, they're not an American band, and they also know their music history, um, this album came out in 1979, if I am correct. If not, I will put it in the info box whenever I upload this video. I wrote down three songs I really want to touch on because basically they're not really played on the radio that much. Just kind of expose you guys to these three. Um, in the Flesh, I've never heard it played on the radio. It's got a really cool intro. I've heard every song on this album. Like this album, I've heard every single song. I listened to them again yesterday just to be brushed up. Uh, Into the Flesh. The intro is about a minute and a half long. It's really cool. It's mainly like guitar. Uh, the actual song I think is like three and a half minutes long. Uh, the other one was The Thin Ice. It's about two and a half minutes long. And uh, it's the one with a lot of piano in it. It's kind of got a trippy feeling. And the last one I picked was Mother. I don't know if I just like songs about mothers because mine's so cool. It's not actually about mothers really. It's more of a dialogue to his mother. Uh, it just asks a couple of questions like, should I trust the government, is she going to break my heart, just little stuff like that. I just like this song, I think it's cool. It's a bit of a longer one, it's about five and a half minutes long. Um, my favorite song on the album would either be Young Lust or Hey You, just because Hey You caught my attention. And I really like Run Like Hell as well, I pretty much like all the songs. Um, most common songs that people know from this album are Comfortably Numb. A lot of people do know Hey You, uh, another brick in the wall, obviously. I'm going to go ahead and pick which song I would suggest listening to off each side. I'll start with side one, be logical. I would say, definitely, obviously, listen to Mother. Um, if you haven't heard another brick in the wall, you're missing out on musical history. Pretty much everyone's heard that one. It's just kind of like childhood anthem, you know, like, hey teacher, leave those kids alone, it's just a good song, and, uh, for side two, I would say Money Lust slash Young Lust, considering it's my favorite, it's just really good, um, let's see, side four, oh, I'll go side three first, sorry, I would say listen to Hey You, obviously, I mean, I mentioned it was my favorite, well, one of my favorites, 
it's just really cool, but comfortably numb as well. It's just kind of like, it's just really trippy. There's no other way to describe Pink Floyd's music other than trippy. A lot of people ask Pink Floyd, did you guys do acid, LSD, any drugs whenever you wrote your music? And it's kind of hard to believe, but they say no, that they didn't. And I guess you just have to take their word. They say that they drank, though. Um, for side four, Run Like Hell, definitely. Run Like Hell is just such a wonderful song. It's more fun on the radio and everything. I absolutely love it. Um, I tried to edit in one of my videos music into it, and it won't let me. So I'm just going to play you a little bit of Pink Floyd real quick, if I can. Sorry. <laughs> Actually, I will just put a link. I'll just put a link to one of the songs. I'll just put a link to whichever I feel like is my favorite at the time when I'm uploading the song. Because I don't own any of the rides, so I don't want to get in trouble for all that business. It's getting on to six minutes now, and so I will go ahead and get off here. Any comments or questions, just leave them in the box. I read them all. Any suggestions, etc. If you have any questions, I'll answer them in the next video. Um... That is if there are questions concerning this video, like Pink Floyd and whatnot. I uh, would have worn my Pink Floyd shirt, but both my, <laughs> both my Pink Floyd shirts are actually Dark Side of the Moon shirts. And I will eventually touch on this one and discuss it because it's pretty freaking awesome as well. And uh, anyway, so have a good night, guys.